members have interacted with healthcare, and, and we know that we're unique and different, and we want to have the right medications and the right procedures based on our clinical needs. And as an informatician, we have the ability to, to better understand those things and then to develop those precision medicine or personalized medicine strategies that are right for the patient at the time that they need it. My oldest brother, in his late 20s, developed cataracts. He underwent surgery and was able to get rid of them, only to find that several years later they came back. Late last year, um, in his early 40s, he was also diagnosed with congestive heart failure. Both of these, cataracts and congestive heart failure, are diseases that we know to only afflict or mainly afflict the geriatric population. But to be seen in a 20 or 40 year old patient, it does beg the question, what's going on? I believe that informatics can help to get to the heart of this, that it's a genetic basis. And understanding these, do, these diseases may have some environmental components to them, but I really believe that it's the genetic components. And I honestly believe that informatics is the way to be able to address this and to be able to get to the heart of what's going on so that we can treat patients and hopefully offset these things from happening to younger patients and even our older patients as well. Patients need to be supported by information technology to be active participants in their care. They need to have technology so they can know what's supposed to happen to them when and to be prepared and to understand what's happening. Otherwise, it's very difficult for them to be partners in their own care. Because it helps give the tools to the people that need it, our care teams, um, and by that I mean the whole broad range of people that are involved in the care of a patient at the time that they need it so that they are successful in providing the most outstanding care uh, to that patient while providing a, a wonderful patient experience. I get to solve very challenging problems uh, and then when I've reached my target I know that I've solved the problem that not only I benefit from uh, and that will help with my work, but will percolate through an entire community of healthcare providers and patients uh, and a lot of people will get to benefit from that work. I first learned about informatics in my leadership during clinicals and nursing school. I didn't really know what it was, but I was lucky enough to be part of the innovation committee. Loved it and loved all the things with healthcare and with technology that you can put together to help improve healthcare because I've seen so many things really slow down actually uh, with the start of the electronic health record just because people weren't catching up to it quick enough and it's still a little bit behind so part of what brings passion to me about informatics is being able to maybe catch up and possibly even get ahead. So that would be really awesome that's where my passion lies and I hope to be a part of it for, for the rest of my life. Well, it's true. The old adage says information is power. And if you want power to improve health, individual health and population health, well, you need the information. And I'm so passionate about informatics because it does just that. It allows us to harness so much information that we just as individual humans could not possibly imagine. When I think about informatics, I think about it accelerating the way that we live, the quality of our life, and making us healthier, happier people. Using technology in a way that helps bring the right information to the right people at the right time is important to making sure we deliver care in a safe way. It's also important because it helps lower the inequities and in access to care for our patients um, locally and abroad. I was in home care 20 years ago and we wanted to demonstrate that funding should be available to provide more home care. It was impossible to do to collect data across the state of Minnesota. We therefore went to the vendors and said you need to have standardized data so we can compare data across organizations and demonstrate the value of the care that we provide to patients and patient outcomes. We need to make sure that we have data representing all healthcare professionals and patients so that we can find out what matters and what doesn't matter and how we can prove health, efficiency, and the satisfaction of our patients.